The State Department confirming that at least three Americans were killed in Turkey in earthquakes that struck the region on Monday. Greg Palcott has more. Becoming rare as we enter the fourth day since a pair of devastating earthquakes hit the Turkey-Syria border region. More than 19,000 are now confirmed dead. As crews here continue clearing debris, relatives of those trapped under toppled buildings say they're beginning to fear the worst. If it was the first or the second day, we could save them alive. We have lost hope as we have entered the fourth day. Thousands of buildings collapsed after the powerful earthquakes, and while the government has promised a fast response, some are complaining about what they see as a slow rollout for recovery, especially in war-torn northern Syria, where the first shipments of UN aid are finally getting through after days of delays. We're trying to reach uh, Syria, and um, particularly northwest Syria, through all modalities. Um, we're going to be ramping up our cross-border uh, assistance. Meanwhile, the U.S. response is ramping up. American search and rescue teams are now on the ground. The Pentagon is moving an aircraft carrier toward Turkey, anticipating more help could be needed in the coming days. We're trying to do everything we can to lean forward, uh, to be responsive to their requests uh, and help them as they try to save lives and, and recover. Adding to the difficulties here, frigid temperatures, but there is international help already on the way and in fact, on the ground. At the USAID base camp in Adiyaman, Turkey, Greg Palcott, Fox News.